Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll go through the UK Met Office run have a look at precipitation and temperature over the next five days as it is trending drier and most importantly quite a bit warmer as well potentially reaching high teens if not into the low 20s over the course of this week and then we'll have a look at the longer term as well with the GFS, GM, Eastern VF and the ensembles as it does look like things will be turning drier and warmer in the longer term as well at least um, for the next 7 to 10 days it does look like that is the trend perhaps seeing some more summer-like conditions or at least proper spring-like weather with the colder frosty days and frosty nights sort of taking a back seat for the time being uh, perhaps even uh, until next autumn but we'll have to look at that in the longer term because there are still hints perhaps of things turning a little bit colder like in the extended range um, but we'll have a look at that towards the end of the video just remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well links in the description so you can see at the moment we do have generally drier conditions there are um, some precipitation pushing up in the west and quite a lot of cloud is within this as well because you can see over the North Sea is quite dry into parts of France there's a slice of high pressure here cold air mass still over parts of Germany, Poland um, uh, Czech Republic down into Hungary, Austria that's where we've got some wintry showers and heavier showers and for the UK we're starting to see south to southwesterly winds push up real warmth coming up out from, uh, from out from sort of Spain down into North Africa coming up from uh, from there and it is pushing precipitation northwards uh, within this warmer moist air and we are seeing precipitation fall quite widely in the west and that's going to be a theme over the next couple days with warmer more muggy conditions but at the same time precipitation and thicker cloud further westwards further eastwards more likely to see sunshine but we also could see some heavier showers and perhaps a signal for some thunderstorms as well so we do have a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look at precipitation temperature over the next five days. You can see as I'm recording this, the precipitation in the west is pushing up nothing too crazy, just with thicker cloud and some patchy to moderate rain. That rain will continue to push up from the southwest through tomorrow morning, and it could be quite heavy in places, but it's not a massive band. It's a lot of showery outbreaks with, with some persistent rain, but not lasting ages. So there should be some drier spells, but it's not going to be a great day. And by Monday evening... Western areas will have plenty of rain and showers, potentially some heavier showers popping off as well. If through Monday night into early hours of Tuesday, we potentially start to ship up some thunderstorms up from the near continent. You can see these lighter, brighter colours getting into oranges and reds. That is heavy torrential rain pushing up from the south. Could be thundery outbreaks. Most likely scenario is just quite heavy torrential rain perhaps some flooding maybe the odd flash of lightning towards the coast um, especially with these sort of shipment um, scenarios where the storms form over France and the near continent and they get shipped over the over the channel towards the UK they do tend to run out of steam and if we do see them at all really in, in a thundery capacity normally towards the coast so it's something we need to keep an eye on perhaps the first proper thundery outbreak of the season through early hours of Tuesday and those push northwards through Tuesday morning, turning generally into heavier rain. So definitely elevated storms that eventually turn into more widespread heavier rain. As that moves northwards through Tuesday, another day of sunshine and showers. Quite a lot of thick cloud around, but there will be some cloud breaks. And that's where we see heavier showers pop off from the north. Heavy rain, though. That does clear through. And you can see by Wednesday, day of heavy showers uh, and thunderstorms. Um, will be some sunshine around especially in the south but you can see those reds there thunderstorms popping off through wednesday and we see this continued theme through thursday some showers in the east but more persistent rain perhaps pushing into the west with weather fronts so if you have a look at the temperatures we'll be able to see it is increasing quite significantly you can see earlier this morning we saw a widespread frost perhaps the last widespread frost we see until the autumn um, no guarantees, but uh, for the time being, at least in the mid-range, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting as a cold enough air mass, really, to be getting those sort of temperatures uh, for the next week or two, at least. And, of course, as we head into May, it becomes increasingly difficult as um, as daylight hours get longer, so less time for the ground and the air to cool down overnight. So you see by Sunday afternoon, so today, 12, 13 degrees, nothing exceptional. But as we head for through towards Monday evening, uh, or Monday afternoon, sorry, potentially 15 to 17 degrees in the south. Pretty warm, much colder further north, so that warmer air hasn't arrived yet. 
If we do move through to Tuesday, really no chance of any widespread frost, maybe apart from some isolated patches across Scotland. Tuesday afternoon, once again, 15 to 17 degrees. And by Wednesday, when we see more cloud breaks, perhaps 15 to 19 degrees, quite widely for central southern areas. Further northwards, again, will be struggling a little bit more with our elevation as well, of course. And by Thursday, chilly in the north, but perhaps 18 to 20 degrees across parts of the Midlands and central southern England. So really, really quite warm. And by Friday, similar sort of conditions. And again, you just look at those upper air conditions uh, with the upper air temperatures. You can see getting up to all sorts of 6, 7, 8 degrees at 850 HPA, which is massively hot. But with sunshine, it's going to mean those temperatures in the day can be quite warm indeed. So if you do now have a look at the GFS, see what that's showing over the next couple of weeks. Um, all the models are showing high pressure and warmth for the next seven days, but it's beyond that where we have uncertainty. So you can see the southerly push of air flow at the moment, turning things quickly warmer, um, but with cloud and showers and thunderstorms, as I said, over the next day or two. And then high pressure settles in over the course of, sort of Thursday, Friday, and that's where we start to see those temperatures really lift up towards 20, maybe low 20s, really. High pressure over the top, perhaps a bit of an easterly flow, which all really depends on the exact orientation of that high pressure, but all the way through the Easter weekend, looks really quite good. However, the GFS, as we head towards day 10, builds that blocking up towards Greenland again and plunges us back into another northeasterly, bitterly cold northeasterly wind with Arctic air masses pushing in. And that's in this scenario, we would see definite return to frosts. So if we do run it back and have a look at those upper air temperatures, see how they do compare. You see warm push of air at the moment, especially across parts of France into the far southeast of the UK. As the high pressure builds in later this week within a relatively warm air mass, that's when we start to see pretty decent conditions potentially low 20s. Beyond that though, you see that plunge of bitterly cold air out of the Arctic, pushing the UK back into a, a wintry air mass. We'll see again widespread wintry showers, hard overnight frosts, but luckily, as we'll see in, in a minute, this is an outlier. Stays very cold though, beyond that, uh, and the GFS really has been pretty wintry and cold over the last couple of days, and it's something of course we have to keep an eye on, but at this stage, I wouldn't favour this. I'd favour that high pressure staying over the top of the UK. At worst, perhaps pushing slightly further northwards, giving us a little bit of an easterly flow. So we do now have a look at the GM run, see how that does compare. Again, southerly push of air, turning things a lot warmer. And that high pressure built over the top of the UK, really quite nice um, towards the end of the week. Uh, into the weekend, the Easter weekend, and we stay with that high pressure over the top of the UK. Really quite pleasant. And again, have a look at those upper air temperatures. Real big warmth uh, push uh, over the next day or two. And then we just stay under higher pressure, looking really quite nice and pleasant. And if you go have a look at the United Kingdom look, um, and if we do actually go to the three-hour view, uh, overnight, potentially, I say to frost here or there, but you can see widely in the day, getting up towards 16 to 20 degrees, most likely a little bit warmer, um, of course, where we do see um, where we do see that those temperatures go a little bit higher. Uh, you can see for Good Friday, sort of 17, 18, 90 degrees. High resolution models will get that a little bit higher. 20, 21 degrees is very possible. But of course, as we saw, if we do run it on, there is the chart of overnight frost in a few places, perhaps, when we do see those, if we do see this high pressure stagnate, stagnate over the top of the UK. So that's why I say the widespread frost risk isn't completely eliminated but it is very much reduced as this would only be under right under the center of the high so we we'll have to keep an eye on that uh, but at this stage it's looking pretty decent and warm at least in the day for the easter weekend and the upcoming days and days after so if you have a look at the eastern air front see how that does compare again southerly push of air over the next couple of days, high pressure built in, of course, some thundery showers um, and some heavy rain generally within that. And those see high pressure to dominate over the top of the UK. A bit more low pressure mixing in, especially for the south and the southwest. And that could feel some heavy showers and storms uh, mixing that low pressure within some warmer air. If you have a look at those upper air temperatures, pretty mild, nothing too crazy. Um, and you can generally just see a bit of a southeasterly flow with low pressure sitting over in the Bay of Biscay. That would very much be a recipe for sunshine showers and thunderstorms that we'll have to keep an eye on but at this stage the majority of the models have high pressure over the top of the uk keeping things really quite warm settled and pleasant and of course most importantly dry so if we do have a look at the ensembles now this is the 12z run which hasn't fully come out yet but it's out to about 12 days and you can see we are firmly above average 
for the next 10 days, all the way to around the 20th of April, firmly above average, a few colder outliers, but nothing too crazy, and precipitation signal is reasonably low, all the precipitation really will be from convective showers and storms, so it will be hit and miss. You see, right in the longer term, the GFS operational run goes really cold, well down to sort of minus 8 degrees at 850 HPA, and you can see, as I said, it is very much an outlier, there is no real backing behind it, very much uh, very much off the, uh, off the scale, really. Most of the ensemble members are staying around or above average all the way for the next 10 days keeping things warm and dry sea level pressure quite high pressure uh, beyond the next day or two as that low pressure still runs up from the far southwest and of, most importantly if we have a look at the two meter temperatures and precipitation you can see from the ne uh, next day or two perhaps still a little bit chilly but by wednesday thursday friday widely 17 18 degrees and potentially towards easter weekend we could be seeing widely 18 to 20 degrees and of course Microclimates uh, will mean that some areas locally could see temperatures maybe 21, 22 degrees is possible. Really quite pleasant, warm April sunshine. It is likely over the next five to seven days days so hopefully you're looking forward to it. it's pretty much nailed on now that we're going to be seeing these sort of conditions now of course there could be some more cloud pop-ups there could be some showers potentially develop but the general pattern of warm high pressure looks pretty much bang on now if you do have a look at the ecmwf ensembles you can see cold at the moment, turning much, much warmer with showers, uh, but especially uh, in the south and southwest. And then we stay well above average all the way to around, once again, the 20th of April. Again, because there's more ECMDF ensembles, we do have more cold route layers, but the majority are around 5 degrees at 850 HP and at least above average for the foreseeable future all the way to the end of the run. Hardly dropping below average, maybe until the last day on the 25th, but even then, it's hardly below average. The majority of the ensemble members are keeping things pretty pretty warm but you can see there are plenty of runs still going towards the minus five area so that's why i say frosts are not completely eliminated slightly colder weather is not completely eliminated but this stage the next five to seven days is looking fairly warm uh, and fairly pleasant um, and dry beyond perhaps sort of wednesday thursday time when we have some potentially heavy showers and thunderstorms in the east and for the next couple of days more persistent rain in the west so it's not warm and dry right now but it is coming um, different times. Of course, the east and the south are going to be seeing this warmer, dry weather, perhaps by Tuesday, Wednesday time, further westwards and northwards, perhaps by Thursday, Friday time, more likely. So it is coming for pretty much everywhere. So hopefully everyone can go out and enjoy it on the east weekend. It's not absolutely guaranteed, but it's got a very high chance now. Most of the models, uh, if not all the ensemble members, are going for it all the way through to the Easter weekend. Tad a bit of, tad a bit of uncertainty towards sort of Easter Sunday, uh, Monday time. Uh, but that's just because it's in the sort of the seven day time frame which um, there is a little bit of uncertainty exact positioning of high pressure low pressure and the exact flow which could if it's a little bit of an easterly flow can put a little bit of a dampen on the temperatures but at this stage it's still looking dry and fine if you look at those two meter temperatures you can see once again similar to the gfs around 15 to 18 degrees quite widely perhaps in around the easter sunday easter monday quite a bit of more spread because of course more ensemble members means there's more likely to be colder outliers bumping those down but the average is still around 14 15 degrees and that looks pretty reasonable um and, and, and as i said if we keep that high pressure at the top of the uk with warm upper air conditions it's likely again we see mid to high teens quite widely um but at this stage we're definitely going to be seeing some warm weather uh, again longevity is just uh, just a thing we need to keep an eye on so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed um yeah it's not going to be amazing over the next couple of days there's going to be heavy rain in the west there's going to be thicker clouds the temperatures are going to still be a little bit down tomorrow and there will be some showers and storms around for the middle of the week but beyond that as we head towards the bank holiday weekend especially towards wednesday thursday friday time the warmer weather will be arriving and it will progressively turn drier as the high pressure builds in so hopefully the easter weekend is going to be a really nice one